me. But anyways, okay. Um, I want you guys to start in your own minds a answering these questions. What did you learn about your body as a child? Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Jen. Oh my goodness, it's good to see you. Hi, Sarah. I'm Tina, Tapping Tina. And uh, hi. Oh, Kendra. Hi, everybody. Sarah Olson, Miss K. That's Kendra in her eight monologue. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lori. Welcome to my scope tonight. I'm talking about pain. I've been doing, I started yesterday this book. Louise Hay and Friends, Modern Day Miracles. And yesterday was about health and today is about pain, which is really fitting because tonight I am in a lot of pain. I made a mistake and ate some gluten the other day. And, oh, hi from Newfoundland. Hi, Jeannie. And what's your name, Newfoundland? Um, so I ate some gluten a couple of days ago and yesterday I wasn't sure, I just, I didn't feel well so that's why I did a scope on juicing because I was thinking it was that and then today when I woke up and I was like really in pain and I have a really bad headache and stuff right now. So it's just perfect. Oh hi Brian, you have bad reactions to gluten. Yeah, you know what, so many people do, it's a big deal, right? It's a really big deal. So I'm just going to read the first part. Pain comes in so many different forms. Often people try to hide from it. Then it says, next answer the following questions as openly and honestly as you can. You can't remember any conversations either. I know, I think, I think it's more prevalent now that people are concerned. They're, they're a lot more body conscious than maybe when, we, when I grew I Actually, Jen, I don't know. You're actually pretty young, so. Um, but I know I was pretty body conscious when I was raising my kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, so next, answer the following questions as openly and honestly as you can. What are the most negative thoughts you have about your body and the pain you feel? This is a, yes, but avoided the social media age. Thank goodness. Oh, good for you. Thank goodness. This is the book, Jen, that we're working through. It's called Modern Day Miracles by Louise Hay. So yesterday was on health and today is about pain, dealing with injury and pain. Um, so what are the most negative thoughts you have about your body and the pain you feel? Where did these thoughts come from? Are you willing to release them? And then it also says to do some mirror work asking, am I willing to love my body? Hi, Sergio. Welcome to my scope. Tapping Tina. Um, so it's talking about doing some mirror, mirror work, asking, am I willing to love my body? Saying it several times when you're looking in the mirror. Um, and asking if you agree with it. Like asking your inner voice if you agree with that statement. And then it says to look into the mirror and say, I release the need for anything that does not nourish or support me. Pay attention to how your body feels when you say this. Then it says, take a deep breath. So we can all do that right now. Thanks, Jen. I'll come back. As you exhale, allow the tension to leave your body. Thanks for the hearts, everybody. Let your scalp, your forehead, and your face relax. Your head doesn't need to be tense in order for you to read. Let your tongue, throat, and shoulders relax. So let everything relax. Just let your back, abdomen, and pelvis relax. Let your breathing be at peace as you relax your hands and feet. Can you feel any change in your body? Just let me know by tapping some hearts. Since you started reading or listening to the previous paragraph, 
Okay, now I want to start tapping. So I don't know, most of everybody here, that's, there's a couple of you on the scope here that I think you all know how to, what to do with the tapping. And I'll just say, even though I have this pain in my body, I'm willing to let it go. Even though I have this pain in my body, so just repeat after me. I'm willing to let it go, to release it. I love and accept myself. So even though there might be pain in my body, I'm willing to let it go. And then we're just gonna tap through these. I'm willing to let go. I release. I let go. I release all pain. I release all tension. I release all discomfort. And under the arm, I release all fear. I release all anger. I release all guilt. I release all sadness. I let go of old limitations. I let go. I am at peace. I am at peace with myself. I am at peace with the process of life and I am safe. And it says to do that two or three times, so we'll do one more round. I am willing to let go. I release. I let go. I release all pain. I release all tension. I release all discomfort. I release all fear. I release all anger. I release all guilt. I release all sadness. I let go of old limitations. I let go. And I'm at peace. I'm at peace with myself. I'm at peace with the process of life and I am safe. Take a deep breath. Well, that helped. That helped my neck anyways. That feels quite a bit better actually. So it says to re Re repeat that whenever you have pain so you I mean that that alone I think maybe what I'll do is I might put it on my I don't know some of you are on my um, genie I know you're on my um, tap your way to po prosperity group um, on Facebook Jen I think you're on my um, Facebook as well I what I'll do is I'll invite you to my um, tapping with prosperity group. I'm actually going to do a few other um, tapping groups. Actually, I think I'm just going to do a whole Facebook group and then we'll just have different topics. But maybe I'll just post this and then you can refer back to it if it helped you. So it, uh, I'm going to end the scope with an affirmation, Louise Hayes affirmation. It feels so much better. Oh, Jeannie, that's awesome. I'm glad you have a picture. Oh, you want the... Okay, great. Um, thanks, guys. Um, I create peace in my mind. Actually, you know what? We could tap. We can do... We can tap on anything. Let's tap. Yes, please post in the group. Okay, Kendra, I'll, I'll do that for... Oh, right, you're on here too. Um, we'll just tap as we're doing the affirmation. And we'll do it. You can follow after me. So do as I do as I'm doing here. I create peace in my mind and my body reflects this. I am filled with life and energy and the joy of living. My body is perfectly sound and I enjoy each moment. I claim my own power and lovingly create my own reality. I trust the process of life. 
under the arm. I take care of my body, my mind, and my emotions. I take responsibility for my own life. I am free. I love my body. I love myself and all is well. I process all new experiences easily and incorporate them into my life with joy. It is safe for me to be who I am. I see my patterns and I choose to make changes. I am willing to go beyond my own limitations. I now choose to create a body that is strong and whole and at ease. I easily release what I no longer need. I deserve to feel good. I heal rapidly, comfortably, and perfectly. My body wants to be well. I listen to its messages and treat it with kindness. I create only joyful experiences in my loving world. I release the need to criticize my body. I am willing to create new thoughts about myself and my life. Every day I'm getting stronger and stronger. I love and cherish myself. I am kind and gentle with me. Thank you for sharing, Kendra. Thanks for the hearts, everybody. How was that? That felt good to me. I feel quite a bit better. I still have a little bit of tension, but I think I can just keep tapping on that. Is everybody feeling okay? I did. A, I was actually talking to Jeannie that's on here. I was talking to her before the scope. Oh, good, Jeannie. You feel a lot better. That's good. Um, I'm just going to... Just gonna pull a card. Jeannie got a card. She got the strength card. This woman is strength, and I've never known anybody who's gone through, it was perfect, this pain thing, who's gone through as much as she has and just still has a smile and a big heart. So I'm just gonna pick a card, and it will be the group card. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Jeannie. <laughs> That's just crazy. Look at this strength card. Can you believe it? Yes, actually, I can. I just picked this, or Jeannie actually picked it because I did one of those, you know, and she told me when to stop. Oh my goodness. So we'll read that. So we all have the strength. I know, Jeannie. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> so this is for all of us. Your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from a sincere faith in a higher power. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting tasks is yours at this time. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I know, Kendra, it's crazy, right? You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off the course of evolution. As the potency of your connections becomes more obvious, you're able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Having courage and dive in, for magic is in the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on a higher power working through you, all is possible. You can do anything now. Yes, we can. Yes. Does anybody else want to share anything or want their own card or just 
I'm hanging out. I actually feel a lot better. I, I, I promised to come on the scope today. I'm doing a 30 day challenge. So I promised, uh, the following or the people that come on my scopes and myself, and I didn't want to come on today. I was feeling really yucky and I feel much better now. Actually, even my voice feels a little bit stronger. Um, it's, it's a closed group, but if you just, you can just, yeah, you can just go on, um, actually I'll do that right now. So it's under, just wait, I'll write that down for you. So it's tap your way to prosperity and you just ask to join and then I'll just as soon as I get on Facebook I will add you and um, yeah and I'm going to be so then I'll have you on Facebook and then once I start up a couple other groups actually I think I'm just going to do one one big group okay, because that was my workshop that I was doing on prosperity. Um, yeah, and I'll just, I'm just going to do like a one big group so that people can come on and we can talk about whatever's, whatever issues we're dealing with. Um, yeah, I don't know. Does anybody want a card? Kendra? Anybody? It's okay if you don't. <laughs> we're just hanging out. That strength card was pretty good. I like that one. Okay, nobody's wanting a card. That's all right. Hope everybody's doing well. Oh sure, spread. Oh sure, lol. My spread was ridiculous today. What what was ridiculous? Happy or feeling better? Love spending time. Thanks, Jeannie. What spread was ridiculous, Kendra? Tell me about that. Did you do one today for yourself, a tarot? Jen, are you still here? Did you want a card? Nope, she's not here. The cards were all over the place with my Ask My Guy cards. Oh, okay. That's amazing. So are you trusting your guides, Kendra? Yeah. Yeah, one of these days I'll just step right into reading the cards without having to read from the book. I, I used to have a, a couple of decks that I could do that with and I'm just not trusting myself right now especially after those I don't know if you remember Kendra the Chuck Spazano decks I have a couple of them and whoo not today huh? I think oh <laughs> your guides were drinking that's good speaking of drinking I need tea I think I should go make some tea pretty quick <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you love those. Those cards are incredible, but yeah, you have to read from the book on those because Chuck Spisano, I don't know, he channels that. He channels that information and there's like pages of stuff to read on them. It's quite incredible, but I guess you can get the whole idea just from the picture because the picture's pretty potent in, in what they, in their simplicity actually. Um, yeah, so anyways, I guess... I don't know if anybody else has anything to say. I'm going to close up uh, the scope tonight. I'm, again, fair, beautiful, open to a bit of interpretation. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Um, yeah, if anybody wants to know anything, just go to my bio and um, my website's there. And there's a free, you know, just click on and there's a free spot that you can, or a, a button to get a free reading or not free. <laughs> Jeez, I'm, eh. see, this is what happens with gluten. I get brain fog and headache. And so it's definitely, yeah, it's, it's in so many things. Accidentally, it was a sauce. I had my workshop here on Sunday and, uh, yeah, it was in one of the sauces that I used for the food and I didn't read and I always read ingredients. So anyways, thanks for all the hearts, everybody. I'm gonna say, <laughs> what? Yeah, right. 
Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good night. Take care. Bye.